Hello everybody, Justin here. I hope you guys are doing well, having a great day or a great night. And before jumping to the charts, don't forget to smash the like button, share it for friends, and subscribe as well. And uh, let's do it. Uh, please don't don't mind my my voice. Uh, I, I'm still not a uh, hundred percent recovered already. But yeah, let's let's do this. So. Uh, always let's start with the the bigger picture if you guys remember my previous video we talked about this scenario right here as being a, a key scenario uh, and also this rejection here was expected okay so uh yeah before jumping to the candles let's take a look first on volume yes so we had the uh, raging volume for may June average on July and decreasing volume on August and uh, I, I don't know if uh, if you are new into my channel or if you are familiar with my my analysis but uh, I'm expecting for something around September and uh, you guys can check my my videos for uh, more info about this uh, especially in a video called the uh, Dow Jones the harvest okay you can find it in the, the playlist for stocks okay yeah so uh, for OBV we still don't have any significant uh, diversions yeah we don't have but uh, if we take a closer look here let me show you oh, just a second please So as you guys can see, this tail right here made a breach. Okay. So in other words, we breached the previous high. It is true that it is a marginal higher high, but the bulls made their point. Okay. And this is great news for later bullish continuation because most people are used to 2017 move. Okay. So something like this and keep going forever. But, uh, uh, we believe this this time is going to be different as uh, by a matter of fact this is truth if we're looking to many other projects so it's a mature behavior okay with time crypto is going to behave in a more uh, mature way okay and also not to mention today we have much more uh, pairs liquidity exchange people involved etc etc okay so uh, let's talk about these candles right here before ta taking another look in other thing so big spike up bad rejection uh, 75 percent plus uh, bearish spinning top on the middle this is a neutral candle but uh, since we are still trading inside the rejection as you guys can see here this is not bullish okay because we still trade inside and with a lot of sellers pressure okay uh, this candle right here uh, the hammer it's uh, sometimes and sometimes only it is bearish okay sometimes it means the bulls still have some steam to keep charging okay so uh, we need more time to understand the the full behavior of this candle we still have 26 days to go okay yeah now let's take a look on my setup you have a better understanding oh, it's not working oh just a second sorry it's not the one It's this one right here yeah so uh, as you guys can see my method is accurate it has been accurate since day one so uh, back in the day when I made the the, the last update for uh, Zio I didn't show the this setup but I addressed all the lines in a manual way okay so as you guys can see this is the one we talked about before and how significant this level is if we take a look on price it's around uh, it's between three cents and two cents which can be one uh, 
uh, actually not one uh, let me see pa, 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 00, 0270 yes 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 so uh, this is the key level for for zeal uh, while we still uh, here in the in the bottom okay for in my humble opinion this is a early pattern that are going to lead us for a much more uh, I mean a bigger bull break a scenario that I, if I'm not wrong I already covered okay so uh, my fifth cents here folks uh, just for the sake of this example on the, the monthly chart uh, I believe we still have some room to keep going but uh, we have only a few weeks before September and this is a problem okay so uh, we may still go up and then I believe we may end up rejected from uh, 00211 or somewhat close to this level but uh, the great scenario here is this uh, we have a possible setup for a big inverted head and shoulders okay so it would make sense for you to go up following also all the, the the market and then we go down before the big one okay because the target for inverted head and shoulders right here is uh it's above our 50 percent average for the since for day one and uh, the target is going to be around uh, 14 15 yes yeah, around 15 cents okay but uh for later bullish continuation we can develop our way for example something like this and then blast the roof okay so uh we still need more evidence uh while the scenario is not clear we chart multiple scenarios that's how we can stay one step ahead uh, because for people who look for a single pattern here okay uh, just a single one and they call out this pattern and try to trade we have for this scenario here like 12 different patterns that can play out so the chances for someone trying to nail a scenario that's not clear is one out of 12 that's why uh, a lot of people lose money in the markets okay we, we use the step-by-step -step approach one step at a time and yeah so far we are doing great so let's jump into the the weekly chart yes 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 so uh, I, 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 I believe that our folks calling for the a cup and handle here which is possible yes it is also a, a possible scenario but the only thing that i i stay concerned about this scenario it's like i said september okay september can be bad uh i'm not saying it will be okay but uh, i have evidence for such this is not a guess but uh, yeah we have to see how this one is going to play out uh especially uh right now for example let's take a measure here let's understand this guy just a moment please hold your hats your jets so uh the thing here is folks we have bad confluence which is bearish confluence uh in other words uh we can fall back to this range which is also aligned with the previous one and also this level right here it is not a hundred percent accurate with the price action here probably because of the difference of price among the exchanges. okay uh, here we are charting binance but uh, yeah so uh, we had a lot of of sellers pressure here probably people taking profits especially after a big rise up which was fantastic and uh, let me see here so we are still below 80 80 percent 
below the neckline and we have a little more room here but uh, this is still not the best approach just a second let's try to look at this in other way why not just a moment yes so the thing here is folks if the bulls are able to close above 0019 we will still uh, be inside uh, this range right here and then 50% is going to decide if we close above and stay above we have great chances to make that bull break that we're talking about and uh, yeah so I believe for now the key thing the key level here is uh, 0, 0, 0,021 okay, that's the one we are looking for and uh, again closing above the 50 stay above 61 all the way bullish okay uh, let's take a closer look just a second please so here on the three days we uh, by the same way we had uh, bearish activity we also had bullish activity which is great and right now we can see some reaction Second, let's go for the daily step by step process as always so the only bad thing here uh, as I uh, we talked uh, before on the monthly and the weekly chart this guy here it's a rejection scenario okay and uh, this kind of behavior can be bearish behavior i'm not saying it is but can be okay because we need a move up and then we are going to change the odds so it's uh, again a step by step approach okay uh, so far there is nothing uh, looking amazing for me to to jump in but uh, if the bulls are able to do that it will be fantastic let's take a closer look here again so the scenario we're talking about uh, why longs here are dangerous because as you guys can see we end up projected from the 50 rejected from the 50 rejected rejected from the golden below the 50 then rejected multiple multiple times and now we are making a new attempt so if they are able to stay above okay I will be looking for uh, for a long but for now uh, I'm just watching let's take a closer look on the four hours second so uh, we had multiple bullish candles especially since this uh, this range right here let me show you believe it or not this is a Fibonacci setup okay so uh, as you guys can see we had one here but no follow through at all uh, but we had a a bullish attempt from uh, to continue from here which faded and then we had another power candle here faded another big one here that faded without a bullish continuation and right now we have another power candle so we have to see if the bulls are willing to, to continue pumping charging uh, and so far we don't have that evidence okay uh, we have to um, for now uh, to watch and see how this is going to develop uh, but there is another approach here using the mirrored trend theory let me show you so this is a thing that I'm working uh, for a long time oh, okay uh, this is not uh, something you guys are, uh, are used to see or familiar with I call this a broken mirror okay 
which can be a shift in the axis for this whole structure here can be we don't have evidence so far but uh like i said let's keep watching and see how this one is going to play out okay so folks uh thanks for uh I, oh sorry i i hope this analysis uh, helped you in some way uh in the way you read or in your trading setup if you have one and uh yeah thanks for your support thanks for your time thanks for your patience uh and yeah and don't forget to smash the like button you guys can do it for free okay and uh yeah thanks again i will see you guys soon see ya